Beijing launched a new generation aircraft carrier Friday, the first such ship to be both designed and built in China, in a milestone as it seeks to extend the range and power of its navy. The Type 003 carrier christened Fujian left its dry dock at a shipyard outside Shanghai in the morning and tied up at a nearby pier, state media reports said. State broadcaster CCTV showed assembled Navy personnel standing beneath the massive ship as water jets sprayed over its deck, multicolored streamers flew and colorful smoke was released. Equipped with the latest weaponry and aircraft launch technology, the Type 003 ship's capabilities are thought to rival those of Western carriers, as Beijing seeks to turn its Navy, already the world's largest, into a multi-carrier force. Satellite imagery captured by Planet Lab's PBC on Thursday and analyzed by the Associated Press showed the carrier in what appeared to be a fully flooded dry dock at the Zhongnan shipyard, near Shanghai, ready for launch. It was draped with red bunting, presumably in preparation for the launch ceremony. China's first carrier was a repurposed Soviet ship, and its second was built in China but based upon a Soviet design. Both were built to employ a so-called ski-jump launch method for aircraft, with a ramp at the end of the short runway to help planes take off. The Type 003 employs a catapult launch, which experts had said appears to be an electromagnetic type system like one originally developed by the US Navy. China's official Xinhua News Agency confirmed the Fujian employed the electromagnetic system in a report on Friday's launch. Such a system puts less stress on the aircraft than older steam-type catapult launch systems, and the use of a catapult means that the ship will be able to launch a broader variety of aircraft, which is necessary for China to be able to project naval power at a greater range. These catapults allow aircraft deployed to carry a more extensive load of weapons in addition to external fuel tanks. Once it is fully operational, the plan's third carrier would also be able to deploy a more complete suite of aircraft associated with carrier strike group operations including carrier onboard delivery transport and airborne early warning and control airframes, such as the KJ-600. China's People's Liberation Army Navy, or PLAN, has been modernizing for more than a decade to become more of a blue water force, one capable of operating globally rather than being restricted to remaining closer to the Chinese mainland. The Fujian itself was named after the province opposite self-ruled Taiwan, sending a statement of intent to rivals. China's Xinhua News Agency reported the Fujian, which carries the hull number 18, had a fully loaded displacement of 80,000 tons. In a March report prepared by the U.S. Congressional Research Service, however, analysts said that satellite images suggest the Type 003's displacement was about 100,000 tons, similar to those of U.S. Navy carriers. The plan currently has some 355 ships, including submarines, and the U.S. estimates the force will grow to 420 ships by 2025 and 460 ships by 2030. Despite having the world's largest navy numerically, however, the plan for now still has nowhere near the capabilities of the U.S. Navy and remains far behind in carriers. China's new carrier was named after the Fujian province on the country's southeastern coast, following a tradition after naming its first two carriers after the provinces of Liaoning and Shandong. Its shipyard launch ceremony was presided over by Xu Qiliang, a member of the ruling Communist Party's Politburo and vice chairperson of the China's Central Military Commission led by President and Party leader Xi Jinping. After Xu cut the ribbon for the launch, a bottle of champagne was broken across the Fujian's bow, Xinhua reported. The doors of the dry dock then opened and the ship moved out into the water and moored at its pier. China's development of the Type 003 carrier is part of a broader modernization of China's military. As with its space program, China has proceeded extremely cautiously in the development of aircraft carriers, seeking to apply only technologies that have been tested and perfected. Now that it is launched, the carrier will have to be fitted out, which could take two to six months. 
Then there will be harbor acceptance trials and sea trials, which will likely take another six months before engineers begin launching test loads using the catapult system. The first aircraft will only be launched from this carrier perhaps in late 2023 to 2024, and full operational capability will likely be declared closer to 2025.